Hey guys, it's Krista, your Loveline phone screener. I am backstage at the Hollywood Bowl for the Honda last night of the Honda Civic Tour with Matt and Kim. Hey. Hello. Hey. So with this being the last day, how has the whole experience been for you guys? Kim's getting weepy eyed already that it's over. Are you? Total baby right now. Might have, might have right been about two nights ago I was on stage as Blink was ending the set and might have started crying. Oh. Yeah. What are you doing tonight though? Like, cause last night was Vegas, right? Yeah. And was that just insane madness? Yeah, I mean that was a lot of fun. I, as the nights go on closer to the end, uh, more and more drinking happens after the shows. So with this being the last night, it's gonna. No, I, I think I think tonight's gonna be reasonable. Yeah, especially everyone's families are here and. Oh, okay, okay. You know, good behavior show. It just seems like like just this venue is so like classic and like yeah. it seems so respectable that you I'm sure some Wait, debauchery so has gone on here. Is it going to be frowned upon if I bring a bottle of wine on stage with me? What? No. Alright. I thought this place was BYOW, right? It bring is. your own wine. See? Yes, bring my it own. Is. Yeah. It is, it is. And I've seen your Twitter and I've seen how you guys have been interacting with the other bands. Any moment that sticks out like, I saw the batting one from the two nights ago. <laughs> Any I, moment, though, with them? I mean, well, in Detroit, so it, the tour is with Blink-182 and My Chemical Romance. Yes. And in Detroit, uh, Tom for Blink-182 had lost his voice a bit, and he came to our backstage room and was like, can you, um, he came to the backstage room, he's like, can you sing a song for us on stage? It sold out show, 15,000 people. Never practiced the song in my life. Never. I mean, I knew the song, but I didn't know all the words. Yeah. I'm like, this is the worst idea ever. And then Kim, I was like, no, nah, I can't do it. And then Kim was like, you're doing this. And so I ended up going out and doing it. And Kim went out and she just shook, shook her booty. She was like my backup dancer the whole time. Nice. And uh, it ended up definitely being pretty memorable. Yeah. And a terrible idea. No, but it went okay. you killed it. No, Come no, on. but I'm just Come saying on. the idea. Come on, puppet. Yeah. 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 In the end, the idea was terrible, yeah. but the execution was flawless. I went, no, I went oh, oh, not flawless. <laughs> but it was close. Enough. Okay, close enough. Travis, of course, is one of the most amazing drummers ever. Have you, during this entire time, gotten to work with him or get tips from him or? No, 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 but I mean, he's been awesome to us. He watches our set every night, which makes me nervous. It, it actually it made me really nervous in the beginning, but now I'm like, hey, you're really? Right um, but yeah, I mean, he's a, he's an animal. Yeah, he, I oh, he just even his everything. tips I probably wouldn't even be able to follow because really? that's how amazing he is. But I mean, in the sense of he goes out and you know does two hour you know like a two hour set just you know nonstop. But before even that. He's drumming for three hours in his backstage room oh. every day. Like, but there was a joke the other day because, okay, so how he warms up is he plays. Yeah. As most drummers would. I warm up and I booty dance. I was gonna ask you about that. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. And so the other day, one of his guys was like, "Hey, Kim, Travis says you know if you want to go in and warm up on his drums, like that's fine." I'm like, "All right, I'll just go up and just grind all over those <laughs> drums, really get my warm up going." I think I had an extra special show that day. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Um, I know my first experience seeing Matt and Kim was at the Music Box just a couple months ago. Oh. Best show oh, ever. Awesome. It was a dance party. I had so much fun. But I noticed that you guys like to use a lot of R&B. Is that, or like hip hop? Like you guys like, like break off. We, we like a lot of hip hop. We like a lot of top 40 hip hop. Is that and just because from New York or? I don't know. It's just. It's just cut. We, you know, we just like music. We think it's fun mm -hmm. and, and, and whatnot. And I think there's so much you know, in like hip hop music and, and pop music and all that in general, which is, you know, the production is becoming very similar in yeah. both those worlds and of just stuff you want to shake your ass to, you know? And if you yeah. can shake your ass to it, that's where, that's where Matt and Kim makes sense. I mean, that's the interesting part about doing something like Hollywood Bowl in comparison to, you know, we did a couple nights at the Fonda there, which is, it's seated. Yeah. You know, it's like, I sometimes I feel like we play a set kind of like a DJ plays a set. Like, you know, we go into little bits of this and that and, and whatnot. And it's like, would a DJ play a seated venue? I don't know. I just remember hearing cameras, vanilla ice, and then like... Well, we... It, yeah, it was just a mix of everything. It was so yeah, good, go with, like in the middle of, uh, you know, we do Just a Friend in our set. <laughs> uh, 
the Little Bismarcky's. Little Ludacris. Yeah. And then, um, Little Major Lazer. There, there's some stuff. Major Lazer. Yes, <laughs> I like it. Um, I have a personal experience with you guys and my phone that might have fallen off. But, you know, voice control on iPhones? I happened to do it and I asked for directions to Disneyland. No joke, started playing Matt and Kim AM FM sound. What? And I, if you guys want to try it right now, we totally can. Yes, yes. Let's, oh, but I, I was getting just, directions again. to Disneyland. I, well, and then we need to talk about what did you do at Disneyland. Wait, but first of all, oh, wait, what do you I mean you asked it? I love Disneyland. What do you mean? Okay, so I, I, I have an like, iPhone as well. I was driving in my car, yes. driving, getting lost, of course, because okay. I'm a girl, I can't drive. And I do voice control. Directions to Disneyland. And let's just see what happens. Playing album continuum. Nope. Okay. But the day... <laughs> maybe you're not... It's not on you today. But it was you guys that night. Really? And I am sitting in my car, lost, don't know where I'm going, and I just hear AM, FM sound, and I'm like... Uh, and I mean, then, wait, did you go, damn you, Matt and Kim? No, that you I started. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Because it was good. just one of those moments, and my friend was in the car with me, and I was like... What just happened? Uh, like, it's incredible. It was some, I, I, I couldn't think of a better situation. Well, maybe if you were like, uh, you know, take me to the most badass underground street fighting club in town, and Matt and Kim came on. See, That'd I be thought cool. you were going to say most badass strip club. Either way. Either it didn't way. Take me yeah. anywhere, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's Literally. exactly it. You know? I don't even know if Matt I got to Kim, Disneyland we won't take that it night. Anywhere. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> But so thank you guys so much for doing this, and I have to just ask to learn how to do your warm up. All right, you I want to see really, it right? yeah. All right. You get up. Well, no, we'll keep Matt in the middle, right? Oh, we'll keep Matt in the middle. So okay. I just want to get low. So get low. Uh, yeah. Get low. And then do a little this, booty bop. Oh, okay. Bop it out. Put it out. Yeah. I, I mean, this position of me, just like, oh yes, okay. <laughs> so you got it. You could go play a show. Yeah, right there now. You go. Thank you so much. <laughs>